Do you remember what it was like to open Cricut Design Space for the first time and realize the steep learning curve, having to learn about weld and attach and group and ungroup and slice and flat? There were a lot of technical terms. There is an update to Cricut Design Space. And before I press record for this tutorial, I was literally sitting here comparing the live version of Cricut Design Space with the beta version of Cricut Design Space so that I can share everything I'm learning with you. Hello everyone and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you're anything like me, you will never forget what it was like to learn all of those technical terms. For me, I felt overwhelmed, I felt overloaded, I felt like I just couldn't do it. Well, I don't want you to feel that way. So as I go through these steps of learning these updates in Cricut Design Space, I am going to do this step by step. I'm not going to do everything in one tutorial. We will break these components down. So in this tutorial, all I'm showing you today is how to get to the beta version and what the upper portion of the layers panel looks like. We are not looking at any of the new terms that have been introduced. We will only look at the top portion of the layers panel once we get to the beta version. At the end of this video, if you find this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. So without further ado, let's get started. I am in Cricut Design Space and I am looking right now at the live version of Cricut Design Space, version 7.19.179. And what I'm going to do is show you how to get to the beta version of this, of Cricut Design Space, because there was an update. But before I do that, I want to upload an image that I'm going to use in the second portion of this tutorial. So I'm going to go to images, I'm going to move over to holidays. I'm going to select Halloween and I am going to scroll down and look for, I'm going to use this sugar skull right here only because I think it's just cute. Um, doesn't really have a special meaning for me. Okay. I am going to just select this and I want you to see what this looks like, what this image looks like in the live version of Cricut Design Space. So I can see that, you know, on the right, it has, you know, my layers panel. I have a purple layer, pink, yellow, green, dark pink, and then the, the actual sugar skull itself. Okay. So this is what this looks like in the old version or the live version of Cricut Design Space. So um, later on, I'm going to take a screenshot of this and compare it to what it looks like in the newer version. I could not open both versions at the same time. So I ended up taking a screenshot and we'll get to that later. But for this sec, for the first part of this tutorial, I just want to show you how to get to uh, beta mode. So I'm going to click these three lines. And I'm going to navigate down to settings and right here where it says application experience, I'm going to select beta and it says changing settings may restart your application. Please save all work before continuing. I'm, I'm going to click done and Cricut Design Space is actually going to close and then it will reopen. It says it's installing. Okay, let's look at this picture of my family as we wait. All right, so it's opening up and I can see at the top left of my screen, it's opening up and now it looks different already. It just says, you know, sugar skull and then it has the different layers over here. And you can see that my layers panel looks different and I have more options down here on the right. Um, it, I'm in beta mode beta version 7.20.83 okay 
So I just wanted to show you how to get here in case your update has not um, come through yet and give a special shout out to Korean Blackstone for reminding me of that because I was like, I haven't gotten the update. And she said, oh, no worries, Delanda. Just um, go to the beta version. So thank you, Corinne. All right. So now we've done this. I am going to do the screenshot as I've already explained, and we will get to the second part of this tutorial. I am in the newest version of Cricut Design Space in beta mode, version 7.20.83. And I've taken a snip of what this would look like in the old version so we can compare how the layers panel looks different. So on the old version, which was version 7.19.179, you can see it right here. When I look at the layers panel at the top, I had the option to group, ungroup, duplicate, and delete. And then when I look at my different layers, I have basic cut, basic cut, basic cut, basic cut. It just was all named the same thing. So I knew what my operation type was over here. At the bottom right of my screen, I have, I had five options, slice, weld, attach, flatten and contour. We remember, or we know from the tutorial that I just did recently, that slice would only work if I had two, only two layers selected at a time. So since you can see that I have everything selected in my layers panel, we know that slice would not have worked here anyway. But I did have the option to weld this. I had the option to attach this. And I also had the option to flatten this. Well, let's look at what some of the changes look like in the new update to Cricut Design Space. I want to go through this very slowly and very carefully, and I don't want to rush through any of it. Okay, I'm going to keep this screen up with the old version just so we can keep it in our remembrance of how it compares to the new version. So once I look at my screen right here on the left and I'm looking at the beta mode, I can see that I'm in my layers panel and at the top, I only have three options. Group and ungroup are one button now. So you can do group and ungroup with just one click, which is, is that's a nice feature. I mean, I do think it makes it efficient. Um, right here, you still have the option to duplicate or you can use a shortcut control D and then you still have delete. So that really didn't change over here at the bottom. Now getting into the actual layers, I'm going to select deselect my um, little skull right here <laughs> and I'm just going to click on each layer and see what I can see. OK, so I can see the the purple layer and the pink layer and the orange and the green and uh, a darker pink and then the actual skull, the sugar skull itself. OK, so let's kind of see what this looks like or, you know, how this looks any different. So right now I can see that this is grouped. And the reason that I know is grouped is because I have the option to ungroup it. OK, and I can also look at right here at my layers panel and I can know that it is grouped. And that is really no different than what it would look like before, because in my old picture, if I'm looking over here to the right, I can look at this and still see that it is grouped. And how do I know that this picture is this old version is grouped? Because I have the option over here to ungroup. So that is very much still the same. OK, so let's look at what happens when I ungroup over here. I'm going to click the button. OK, and now I can see the individual layers and I can see that they are not attached. any; They're not connected at all anymore. Right. Which would have been the same in the old version. So that didn't change. The major change with the layers panel over here, in addition to the group and ungroup, is that now I can rename these layers. And I think that is a fantastic addition. So instead of this just saying sugar skull and, you know, or just saying basic cut, basic cut, basic cut, I can change this to whatever I want this to be. So I can right click on this and I can rename this to purple. 
and then I can click on the next one and I can rename this to light pink. And then I can click on the next layer and I can rename this to orange. And then I can click on the next layer and I can name this, rename this to green. And then I can click this, I can right click and rename this to dark pink. And then I can just, of course, I can just keep that as sugar skull. And I think that is a very nice addition. I think this is a very nice part of the update to Cricut Design Space. So in the next little short tutorial, because I do want to take this in parts, I don't want to go over everything at once, just in case you need to come back to this tutorial and, you know, really have a good understanding of it. I think this is enough for the first lesson in this update. Now, you do not have to update your Cricut Design Space if you're not ready for it yet. You see that right here, I'm in the beta version. However, I could just stay in the old version, which is the live version, if I'm just not quite ready yet. Okay, so hopefully you have found this part helpful. When we go into the next tutorial, we will get into what this combine looks like because that is another big change with this update. That's actually the biggest change with this update. OK, so we are going to stop here for a second. And, you know, I can't even really get into it right now because I would have to make sure that I have more of my layers selected in order to get into slice, combine and all the other options. Um, so we will get into that in, in the next tutorial. If you have found this little piece of this tutorial helpful, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching.